unbelievable what I've just seen. The first landing, it's off the top right. This is awful. I've already seen people get up and leave after the first goal. Oh dear. Oh dear. And it is. It's John Rose. This guy's in awe of it. What a footballer Johnny Rowe is. It's time for something a little bit different. Yorkshire takes on Norfolk, Terriers take on Canaries as two experienced managers battle ahead to try and improve on last season's dip in form. Today will be loud, <laughs> scrappy and intense, but can Norwich keep their unbeaten run at large and get the win today? Yes, today is slightly different as Norwich City take on Huddersfield Town in the fourth round of the most exciting, most competitive and the greatest league in the world, the EFL Championship. Hull City played last night against Bristol City, so I thought, with a free Saturday, me and Leo would venture off to Huddersfield to watch two teams I respect very much. Norwich, fantastic fan base and an incredible club, and Huddersfield, the local, fantastic fans, the aura around the club with Neil Warnock, I just thought it was a perfect game to go to and a perfect game to vlog. I'll, <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you, I don't know a lot about the two teams. I know Norwich have had a fantastic start of the season, winning against us in the 95th minute. But the man to watch is Jonathan Rowe. Uh, he's incredible, he's a humble guy and a fantastic footballer. Now Huddersfield, purely because of Neil Warnock, I really hope they do well. They've had a rough start to the season, one draw, two losses, but I do think today is a fantastic start with the home atmosphere to try and get themselves the first three points of the season. But either or, I'm a neutral, so a 4-4 draw with loads of goals, a couple of red cards and an own goal would do me. Today, I take my sixth visit to the incredible ground, which is the John Smith Stadium. Fantastic set of fans. The cow shed is always rocking. And for Norwich, I'm sure they'll bring a packed out away end. I'll see when we get there. Hopefully, it's a good result. And up the other Tigers. <laughs> They're not playing, but up the Tigers. And we're underway. Moulton to York. York to Leeds. Meet Leo, then Leeds to Wuddersfield. Different train station today. This time, we're at York. We're also here with Mother. How are you, Mum? Thank you. Mum won't be attending the game, but she can still have a score predictions. What's your score predictions? Won't I be neutral 1-1? Who's scoring? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's slightly worrying that there's hardly anybody here at the train station. It's Leeds Fest this weekend. There's a balloon festival at Castle Howard. There's a championship and Premier League match weeks. <sighs> I suppose there's a few train strikes, but you thought it'd be jam-packed. There he is. Hello. Now then. We ain't getting no seats here, Leo. Oh, yes. Ooh. Right, that's enough train rides for today. Let's get to Wuddersfield. Welcome to Wuddersfield. To be fair, it's a very nice town. Very scenic, anyway. We're kicking a stone about at Wuddersfield. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we're nearly there. It's a fair old walk from station. Me, my legs are hurting. And here we have the beautiful John Smith Stadium home of Huddersfield Town. It's going to be a good game. We've sorted the tickets last time we had a proper going on. We weren't allowed, but this time we are in. Are you all right? Oh, let's actually get to the pitch. Leo's on a rush, he wants to see Johnny Rowe. And here is the big reveal. Such a lovely stadium. Wow. Have you ever wondered what Sky Sports was like behind the scenes? Oh, there you go. I don't think the game's on Sky, I think it's three o'clock kickoff, but it's always nice to see. Lovely ground, it really is. Probably one of the nicest in the championship. That's the away end. I've heard from many Norwich fans that it will be packed out today. So hopefully a good atmosphere. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a little bit of a different surrounding today as me and Leo are here at the John Smith Stadium for my sixth visit. How many times are you, Leo? Six as well. <laughs> oh, fair enough. One of the first times we've been in the home end apart from an England under 21 game. But I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful stadium, about 30,000. And that cattle shed, which is directly opposite us, is always rocking. They've got the flags, the atmosphere. And I do think they have got a drum, which, depending how they use it, can be a bit iffy. We're also directly right next to the away end, which 
hopefully they don't start at us because we're neutrals but hopefully it's a good game I think with Johnny Rowe on form and with a few of their players like Josh Sargent, Gabriel Saira, Onel Hernandez, all players who could arguably play from mid-table Premier League all starting today so it will be a struggle for Huddersfield but they do have that belief they've got the aura around the club and the fans backing them that they could possibly pull off their first win of the season. Now the time is about 25 past two the lineup has been out for quite a while and I'll be honest I haven't done my lineup graphics I haven't seen enough of the two teams to warrant who should be starting, who should be on the bench, but from what I can gather, two very strong teams. I'll talk about a few of the players that I do know that are fantastic and wants to look out for today. Huddersfield, Jack Rodoni, Sauber Thomas, Jonathan Hogg and Ibrahim Diara, all players who could do a job in the top six in a championship club. And then for Norwich, they've still got quite a decent Premier League squad. I know they signed Ashley Barnes, but for me, the ones to look out for is Gabriel Sara, Onel Hernandez, Josh Sargent, and the main man, the man in form, Jonathan Rowe, who this man's on a painting for. Fantastic. Lovely geezer. Leo. I've spent the day with him, but I am going to ask how we are for the camera. How are you, mate? Very good. Really? Yeah, I, I'm all right. It's, uh, I haven't got any food yet. I haven't had my dinner, so a little bit peckish. Anyway, on to the game. A tough side from both perspectives. I think Norwich will struggle at times, but Huddersfield are probably the underdogs here. What's your score predictions? Well, I'm just going to go with my heart. It's going to be 2-0 Norwich. Scores, realistic. It's going to be Ashley Barnes and Jonathan Rowe. Yeah, to be fair, that is realistic. We're keeping neutral today, but I think Huddersfield have got the weaker squad. Well, I spoke to some Norwich fans before the game and they said they were win 6-1. 6-1, <laughs> yeah, they were optimistic, weren't they? My score prediction, it is a little bit boring, but I'm going to go for a 1-1 one -one draw. I think for Huddersfield, I think Sauber Thomas will bag. I know it's a bit predictable, but he is a fantastic footballer. And then for Norwich, it's, it's a bit bold here, but I think it'll be Demetrius Janulois. I think he will score. I don't know whether I pronounced that right, but I do think from left back, he'll go and get a goal. We'll have to wait and see. And as we speak, the Huddersfield players are out warming up and what an atmosphere it is here. The cow shed will be rocking. The away in is already soon filling up and the Norwich players are <laughs> warming up right in front of us. And there is that man who scored the 95th minute winner cause heartbreak in the away end. I might do it again today, we never know. Oh, I found the drum. You thought you couldn't escape it, and Huddersfield's got one as well. Class of the drums. Well, two drums now. <laughs> and I've realised and remembered that every time Huddersfield get a corner or a good opportunity, they start barking like dogs. And we've started doing it at Hull as well, I don't know, just on the way again. Oh dear. Well, hopefully a good atmosphere. It's starting to pack out, I'll tell you what, it'll be good. And here we have it! Huddersfield take on Norwich City in the fourth round of the Championship. What an atmosphere! The flags are out. Over there as well, the cow shed is rocking. I'll tell you what, I'm excited for today. I do think it'll be a good day, good atmosphere. Up the Tigers. Oh, not up the Tigers. I'm just amazed by how good the Norwich fans are. And it will be Norwich City, specifically Josh Sargent, to take kick off for the first half. I'm just amazed by how good these set of fans are. Off we go. Come on. Norwich having most of the ball, it's just them little things that count. And there's the barking. <laughs> what? Oh, Drink to atmosphere. Oh, and I'd be ten times better, I'll be honest with you. It really is something. A bit too far out here. Can't really see what ball it's. Magic feet of Sauber Thomas. Oh. This is certainly not going to be an ill nil, I can tell you that. What's he done? What have I just seen? Lee Nichols. What? I'm in disbelief of what I've just seen. Like an easy punch for Lee Nichols. 
He's missed the ball completely, hit Josh Sargent in the process. Josh Sargent's got an easy tap in. It's not looking good for Josh either. He's up now, but the stretcher's on the sidelines waiting for him. He's going back on. Is he all right? Yeah. He's all right. Well, that's a good thing. Fantastic atmosphere by Norris. That was true, Lynn's that. But a goal that didn't need to happen. <laughs> the stretcher's going back on. Oh, the stretcher is going back. Oh, this is... Yeah, the stretcher will be used. I hope he gets better soon. What's he done? He's already coming on. Good news for Josh, a lovely person. I hope he gets better soon. Adam Ida comes on in replace for him. I know what he's like. Still haunted by him. Worst to worst. Norwich have got a penalty. And they're Rose down as well. And now Johnny Rose down. Things couldn't get worse for Huddersfield at the moment. <laughs> oh dear me. And it will be Ashley Barnes to take. Are you sure? I am sure. Cheers, Leo. Is it going in? Can Lee Nichols redeem himself from that awful mistake? Good, Booze good rock around the St. John Smith Arena. No, that's not. Is that the name? I don't know. Is it in the post, lads? Leo thinks it's it in the post. I think it's off top right. <laughs> Lummy neck. This is awful. I've already seen people get up and leave after the first it goal. Might be six, <laughs> you know what? Fair play. The guy who spoke to me before and said six one. It may truly be. It's off top right. I must admit the Norwich songs are very catchy. Get me foot tapping. Get in the car for that. Oh dear. Neil is not happy. Oh Neil. You know, I'll give massive. I think everyone should give massive respect for Neil Warnock. He's seven, how old is he? 74? Something like that. He's come out of retirement, saved Huddersfield town. He hope he does well. Could still get promotion. There you go. Oh, oh, dear. oh no, that's a red. No, yellow, we're all good. 30 minutes in and it's just a disaster from Huddersfield today. Like, Norwich have got the ball currently passing it around the back and not one player is pressing them. Just like there's no desire, the creativity in the midfield, there's just nothing going on. Kenny McLean was just dribbling through open space and no one pressed it. It just looked like they're walking. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You can just hear it. Hostile in here. They're just toying with them. They really are. It only looks a matter of time until Norwich will get the third. And if it is Johnny Rowe, that'll be a goal in every game he's played in this season. Fun fact. Could he beat Jamie Rowdy's record? Can't believe he's played in championship either. Oh, wow. Come on, Jack. What? <laughs> what? Just to put in perspective, this Norwich team have just sold Max Owen for about 15 million to Barman. Milit Rashika to, I think it was Galatasaray for a couple of million. They've got Omar Bamadeli on the bench, linked to AC Milan for 10 or 15. That's a good 45 million, and they're still playing very, very well. They could absolutely boss the league if they just spend it wisely. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's giving it a go. Fair play to him. Huddersfield have had less than three opportunities, and they've all blazed over the bar. Really is poor. I think I've said this every time that I've seen Norwich play, but Kenny McLean is a fantastic footballer. As a midfielder, driving into space, his passing ability is always on point. And I tell you what, he always puts his line on for the team. Puts his line on, puts his body on the line for the team. Can't get any words out. I'm not mesmerised by his performance. 45th minute, five minutes have been added on. I don't know where they've scraped that from. I know Sergeant was on the floor for a little bit, but it was not five minutes. I think Huddersfield definitely need a goal now because it will change the entire complexity of what Neil Warnock will be saying because I can guarantee he will be raging right now. They can get a goal, it gives them momentum and motivation on, to go into the second half and get a goal. But it doesn't look like it'll happen. 
because Norwich are just handling the ball with care and they're playing very well indeed. Blooming heck. Ball in. Oh no. Gosh. Booze echo around the stadium. Half time here and 2 0. To Norwich, rightly deserved to be honest. They've dominated them. Half time then, and even as a neutral, I still have no words for the town. To sum it up, the players warming up on the bench are currently out on the pitch, pushing each other around. It just seems there's no creativity in the midfield. They're not pressuring Norwich at all. And Norwich are just tying with them. It's like every pass is just simple with them. Kenny McLean dominating the midfield, a bit like what Surrey is for Hull City. And they're getting backed by a passionate and very loud fan base in the away end. I mean, it's incredible. Even with a drum, it makes it work for some reason. I'm not a big fan of drums, but the way they made it work, it really is. One of the best fans of the championship. I'll be honest, I'm looking at the Huddersfield bench and I don't know any players. I think they've got that Yuto Nakamara, but I think he's just come back from injury. I remember him pulling his ACL in the first couple of games of last season. Seems like a good guy and a good footballer, so bring him on. Bench for Norwich is fantastic. Andrew Omabama Deli. We've got Sam McCallum. Marcelia Nunes, who scored that wonder of free kick against Hull last season. They've got a very good bench. I don't think they need to sub anyone on. Just keep playing as they play and they'll get a 4 0 win. Leo, what do you think of the first half? Uh, he's all there for the first 17 minutes. And just dropped off, did he? <laughs> Not a lot's going on. I think there could be a few more yellow cards being given out, but apart from that, Huddersfield have had a bit of a stinker. I'll see you all in the second half. I don't have a lot more to add. I'm a bit hungry. I might go get myself a burger. Other Tigers. And it will be Jack Redoni in second half. Way up. All right. <laughs> so for a very comeback win, I don't know. I like Norwich though. Oh dear. Oh dear. And it is. It's Johnny Rowe. He scores wherever he goes. Well, Leo will be happy. That's game done and dusted, in my opinion. This guy's in awe of him. <laughs> what a footballer Johnny Rowe is. Honestly, it's one of those, a bit like Illaman in Dye breaks out and will be at a Premier League team in no time and hopefully it is at Norwich. I generally can see him going up this season. I think last season was a bit of a slug talking to people. They said it was because they were inexperienced and they didn't have a real leader but now they've got Ashley Barnes who's marching everyone around. They've got Jack Stady. Stady? Jack Stacy, and now Johnny Rowe who isn't experienced but he's a blooming good footballer. What a club. Go on, Jack. Oh dear. Way up. Yeah, way up. Is it what's going on? Oh, he's outside. Whoa, man. I'll tell you something. This Johnny Road chant is really blowing catch. I'll be singing this on the way home in car for the next week. It really is a fantastic song. He's buzzing inside, really, isn't he? <laughs> that was the first shot on target. It's taken them 55 minutes. A little bit worried. He shoots there. Right, they could hit him on the counter attack here. This is what all should do. Is he? Oh, it's, it's close. Walk him out again! Oh, man, just look at him. 65th minute, it's bucketing down. The 3 0 down. Things aren't going right for other still, but they are giving it a go. I think Neil Warnock's definitely got into them at half time. They really go in, and I think they've had more shots this last 10 minutes than they did the full first half. But still not getting anywhere with it. One on target. At least they're not giving up. Triple substitution then for Huddersfield Town. As long as they don't take Josh Caroma off, 
he's been the most creative player. He's the only one who's actually gone and taken the opportunities and tried to give it a go. 14, Sorba Thomas, why is he getting moved? Sorba Thomas is coming off. To be honest, I don't know anyone who's coming on, <laughs> I'll be honest. Delano Bergsorg is coming on. Oh, that's his debut, that's why. See what he can bring, might be the future of the championship. <laughs> they have done exactly what I said not to do. And that's Josh Caroma has been taken off. Deserves a good round of applause, although some may say it's been greedy. He's taken the opportunities and he looked like he's actually giving it a go. That's to feel bad for the players. Awful weather. It was lovely and sunny, I nearly got a suntan earlier. Well, we know what's coming. It's going to be far in a minute as well, isn't it? Off oh, 3 1. Let's stay positive. What a ball that is. Not to anybody, but a good ball. Welcome to England. Oh, man, eh? Watch <laughs> in half an hour, you'll be out getting a sunset. Well, the Norwich fans are enjoying themselves, no matter the weather. And to be fair, some of the other field fans giving it a good go as well. And the lights have come on now. Who would have thought the lights would be out for a three o'clock kickoff? <laughs> In August. <laughs> it's a lovely blue sky over there, and it's absolutely bugging in down. But I just want to say, these fans here, giving it everything when the team are three nil down. They probably won't get anything out of this. But they're enjoying themselves. Oh, he's awake. I thought you'd fall asleep then. Like, oh, you're alright. Huh? That sums it up, really. Substitution then for Huddersfield. Jack Rodoni comes off. And Ben Jackson comes on. He was there before the game. He was a lovely, really nice guy. This guy's on his phone during the game. Come on, Leo. Well, you're on your phone. Oh well, yeah, but I'm blogging it. A lead winning. Let's have a look. Oh, Joel Perot scored. I'm good on him, he's a nice guy. We're gonna go for four here. That was a really awkward bit of silence, isn't it? Well, it's leads. leads are four to up. That's an Estera scored as well. That was a good ball. It is going to be four here. It is going to be Adam Ida. Yeah! <laughs> oh dear me. You know what? I'm actually buzzing for Norwich. I've tried to keep neutral because we sat in the home end to sort of support the oldest field. But I love Norwich. What a club. Some fans as well. I I'm going to say they are the best fans in the league. Underrated in my opinion. A lot of people were saying Adam Ida wasn't good enough for Norwich. Well, how many is that now? Two? It is going to be Adam Ida. You know what? Fair play to Norwich. Honestly, what a it's performance. Raining. It's not really nice. That's a What is he on about? <laughs> Norwich, what a fantastic club. Honestly, and the amount of depth they've got. The money that they'll get from these transfers, they could honestly storm the league and break records. Johnny Rowe, incredible player. Ashley Barnes, experience, and we can now see that he can do it at this level again. Just really impressive. 90th minute, five minutes has been added on. Anything could happen here. They could get another two or three. Huddersfield could pull one or two back, but the end result is going to end with three points to Norwich. And they deserved it. They really have. I came here because we knew as we were the two best fans in the championship, or one of the best. The cow shed on its day is always rocking, but today it's been a miserable day in Yorkshire. But Norwich will go home to Norfolk, all happy with three points. It's a long drive, I tell you what, four hours? But hopefully, 
will enjoy the way home and have a few few drinks and have a party I suppose. Time with them. Oh, my neck. Ashley Barnes. It is. Oh, it's offside. <laughs> Something for them to cheer about. Well, the five minutes has been played, and that is it. Full time Norwich 4, Huddersfield Town 0. Now, I haven't seen a game like that for years. I'll see when we get back. Brilliant result for Norwich, fair play to them. Disappointing day in the office for Huddersfield Town and their fans. Well, fair play to Norwich. What an atmosphere that is. See you when we get back. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, there's not more you can ask for as a neutral viewer for four goals, loads of excitement, limbs from the away ground. And that man once again, Jonathan Rowe, scoring his fifth goal in fifth games. I'm going to pan the camera around to this man here, wearing his actual shirt from the game he scored in, which is today. Uh, hey up, Leo. You're all right, pal. What did you think to that one, mate? That was fantastic. It was very good. Very, very, very good. Johnny, Johnny, bro. <laughs> no, I tell you what, that was one of the best games I've been to in the last couple of seasons. And although we look at the positives, which is Norwich City's fantastic result, we do have to talk about Huddersfield Town. And it's all just gone wrong today. And to be honest, if they just scored the first goal, which two or three minutes in, they had an opportunity and hit the post, I think the game would have been entirely in their hands. And it's just a shame. For me, the players put 100% effort in. Although there was one or two times I think they could have pressed the defenders a bit harder. I still think 4-0 is a bit of an unfair result. Fair play to Norwich. They deserved all the goals. But Huddersfield weren't as bad as it makes it look they were thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed the video please like subscribe and turn on notifications that would really mean so much it's been a true pleasure taking you to the john smith stadium and although it was a gutting result for huddersfield a fantastic one for norwich i wish both teams the best for the season although when we play them as a hull city fan i hope we get the three points i'll see you all in the next vlog as hull city take on leicester next saturday at the king power stadium one of the only away days this season that i haven't done before and i'm looking forward to it up the tigers up the uh, Canaries and up the Terriers, I suppose.